So thank you for coming to Living in a Chemical-Free Home. Um, Young Living is not just about essential oils. We have many products. So tonight, that's what I'm going to, going to share with you. Um, in fact, this year at convention, there were some awesome products from Thieves that were um, introduced. And we'll get, to, um, we'll get to those in a second. And so, but I'm going to show you all these different personal care products and all the different things that uh, will enlighten you on how easy and cost effective it is to live in a chemical free home. Since 2008, we have been uh, on our journey to live in a chemical free home. We started um, with uh, Young Living in 2008 um, due to we were not well. We were looking for a way to be healthier and be well. And a lot of times, people are introduced by one certain oil or by one certain product from Young Living. Well, my product was Thieves. So, and since then, they have changed the design of Thieves. This is the new uh, bottle. Isn't it pretty? And so, anyway, but Thieves is um, the first essential oil that I started using and that I found wellness. Now, a lot of people say that is such an odd name. How, you know, where did the name come from? How did that come about? Um, there's a whole product line of Thieves as well, not just the essential oil. But it's very um, powerful, uh, proprietary blend, combination of cinnamon, lemon, rosemary, eucalyptus, and clove. And, um, and if you've ever heard this story about um, the, uh, the history of how it got its name, Young um, Living's founder, Gary Young, went to a historical museum in Europe and he saw this story about some thieves and how they were able to stay well even though they were robbing people by coating themselves with these essential oils of rosemary, eucalyptus, clove, cinnamon, and lemon. And they were able to um, stay well and rob people. And so there's a story behind that name. It's not just a, an odd name for it, right? And so, so that's kind of the story. Thieves is um, very awesome in helping support your immune system. And so that's why all the products that have Thieves in them are very helpful for keeping your house clean, but also keeping your immune system up to par. So what are toxins? Where are the toxins in our in, um, life? And where, where are the toxins? What are the toxins in our environment? Um, every, everywhere we go, every day, we run into, you know, and, and it's not just getting behind that car that's like um, really old and you smell the exhaust, okay? That's what we think because we actually smell it. They're everywhere in our environment. They're in our water. Um, oftentimes, our water sources have fluoride and chlorine in them. And so who's ever taken a shower and you smell, like, you can smell the chemicals <coughs> coming through. Or you fill up your bathtub and it's a dingy color, right? That's toxins in your water. They're in our food. Um, I teach a nutrition class, and I go into great detail about the toxins that are in our food. But what's amazing is there are so many toxins that are in our food that are the same exact ingredient that are in our personal care products. Okay? Propylene glycol is one of those. Anything that says moist, it's going to be in it, whether it's a personal care product or a food product. And so look for that. That is one ingredient you want to avoid. And um, it's very dangerous for your body. Do your research on it. Google it. See what you find about, out about it. Clothes. Um, we get those new clothes and they have that new smell, right? Well, that new smell is not great for us. And even putting it on our skin, your skin is your largest organ. So it's absorbing that formaldehyde or that different things that are in it. When you take them to the cleaners and they come home and they have that cleaner smell, you want to hang it outside, you know, just a little bit. You know, I hang them out in our garage a little bit just to get that out. Take that plastic bag off of it and get those toxins out so you're not carrying it in and putting it right on your body. Get it open, get it out. Uh, building materials. Um, what about, you know, the materials that we build, our playground equipment for our children to run all over and they use their running barefoot and everything. It's treated with a chemical to keep the bugs from eating it. But yet, what's it doing to us when we're running on it barefoot? Okay? The different um, decks that we make and stuff. We treat the chemicals and the material um, to, you know, to keep the bugs off. But when you're doing that, your body's absorbing it if you're running on it barefoot. Okay? 
um, personal care products, all the different personal care products that we use daily. We don't see them as hazards because they make our hair fluffy or they make our skin soft. But they oftentimes have chemicals in them that are causing harm to our body. And household cleaners. How many people have a lock on their kitchen cabinet because they don't want their children getting into their cabinets underneath the sink because it could be harmful? Because they bought a chemical that says, danger, do not get on your skin, do not get in your eyes. If it is, call the poison control. You know, all these warning labels. I don't have locks on my cabinets. And my two-year-old takes my thieves cleaner and walks all over the house spraying stuff with it. I'm not worried about it because I don't have any toxic chemicals in my home. If my children were to go and to get it in my cabinet, this is not have a child-proof safe lid. If he were to get in this and he were to ac accidentally, you know, start drinking it or licking it or getting it on his body, it's not going to burn him. It's not going to harm him harm him because it does not say that it's harmful on the back here anywhere. It says not for internal use, but at the same time, it doesn't say call the poison control if he drinks it, right? Now, he might have a good colon cleansing if he drank a little bit of this, right? <laughs> but that's, that's going to be the worst of the side effects because it does not have any toxins in it. And so we'll get into a little bit more of the these household cleaner in a second. So did you realize that within 26 seconds is all it takes for the chemicals um, in your personal care products to enter your bloodstream. Did you realize that? Let me tell you this. Who walked in and they can smell my essential oils diffusing up here? You can smell it. Well, within 26 seconds, when you start smelling it, it's also reaching the cellular communications in your body. Within 20 minutes, and you all have mostly been sitting here for about that time, it has reached all the cells of your entire body. So you tell me, have you ever cleaned your bathroom and gone in and sprayed it down and then you've had to walk out because it's so fumey or go open a window or turn on the fan because it's so fumey? Right. Well, it's reaching. You think, oh, it's harmful for my lungs. Well, think about your body that you're laying in the bathtub or you're bathing with or that water that's coming out that you've washed that faucet with. Think about what that's doing. That is harmful to your body. So think about all the different ways that you have used your cleaners, but also your personal care products. And read your labels. Become a label reader. The effects that chemicals have our, on our body have the 884 toxins used in personal care products. There are different um, causes of all different types of skin and eye irritations. There's different... Um, uh, ailments and illnesses that we get from using all of these toxins in our home, personal care products, and also our cleaners. And it's really scary. Now, when I was growing up, I wore glasses. And I was the only kid in my class that wore glasses, okay? Back in the 80s, people just didn't wear glasses whenever they were kids. That was what you did when you got older, right? But I've had them since I was two. But at the same time, now it's, it's nothing to see a whole class full of kids with glasses. Why is that? What is it that we're putting on our face and on our skin that when, as soon as they're born in the hospital, they give us free things. Here's some free shampoo. Here's some free body wash. We rub it all over the kids. And by the time they're five and they start school, they can't even pass an eye test. Why? Because we're putting stuff on their body like sodium lauryl sulfate, that's not good for their eyes. And it's damaging, okay? So look up that one, sodium lauryl sulfate, SLS is what um, it's also called. And so also think of the reproductive complications, all right? I myself, it took me six years before we had children, all right? You see more people having a hard time conceiving, and you see more people that when they do finally conceive, their children all have ADHD or all these different um, problems and stuff. What is in these chemicals that's causing us not to reproduce? And what's in these chemicals that are causing our children to all have this epidemic of everybody has to be on medication because of it, right? What is it? It's in our chemicals. It's not just the food we eat. It's in our chemicals and in our homes daily. Now, indoor air pollution. You think about this. 
We don't think about this. We think when we drive down the road and we see the cloud puffy thing coming out of the, you know, nuclear power plants over there, we, we see that and we think that's outdoor air pollution. But it can be a number of different ways. So we don't ever think about inside our home. Um, and in our home, there's a call to poison control um, center every 14 seconds. That is how often they are called because of all the different chemicals that are in our home. Now, at the same time, um, all the different things that are in our homes, we have things, we want our house to smell good, right? And so we have something going, we've got candles burning, we've got you know, things plugged into the wall, we've got something melting over here, different things like that. And so we have those, those things to help our house smell good. But what are they doing to our body? What are they doing to our cellular communication in our body? That's why we choose diffusers. Uh, this is the bamboo diffuser going on right here. And I've got it, um, one of my favorites. It is great and it's diffusing. Um, the, uh, just, you know, just um, a mist into the air and you can smell it. It's purification is what I'm diffusing right now. And then I've also got um, my Therapro diffuser. This is my absolute favorite. If, you had to, if I had to narrow it down to what was my favorite, this is my favorite. I've had, I have two of these. I've had these for probably five or six years. And, um, and having a house full of boys, I have three boys at my home. I have literally seen this happen one time. It was, the cord was running along just because I stuck in the spot that needed a little bit more purifying. And one of the boys ran through and he caught the cord with his foot and it went, boom, went flying across the room and it was just fine. Now, I lost a little bit of oil out, but it did not, this is solid. So this is my boy diffuser. That's what I like to call it because it's solid. And I set it, I leave this running 24-7 at my home. I buy a bottle of Thieves every month, and I set this on the lowest setting to diffuse, and you can hear it when it kicked on, and you can actually see it just spitting out. Now, I can wind it up and get it really high to where it's kicking out a lot, or I can bring it down where it just kicks out some. And then you set the off timer. I want it to go off, stay off for 20 minutes, and I want it to kick on every five minutes. And so I set it on the lowest settings like that to where 24-7 it's running at my house. And we're getting this in our air. So we're breathing this, okay? And um, if we go out of town, a lot of times I get a mixture uh, together to help even purify the air more. And I crank it up. And I, you know, for those outdoor annoyances that like to come in your house, I crank it up and I put those on to where, you know, it, it helps to where when we're gone it doesn't smell stuffy. We lived in an old home, and it smelled um, old. It was like, you know, it's 100 years old, and it smelled like it. And so I started using that and diffusing that 24-7. By the time we left, it didn't even smell like that anymore. It smelled like a brand-new home. And so, so anyway, so that's what we use to purify our air. A lot of people say, oh, but I like my candles. I like this. You will notice a huge difference. I noticed a difference in my respiratory support. Mm -hmm. When I stopped burning candles and I started diffusing, all right? So, personal care products with Thieves. Thieves has a number of personal care products. Um, these hand soaps are great. It's a foaming hand soap that um, you can um, use. There is a refill that comes, and it's a bottle that you pour in, and it tells you exactly how to use it on the back. But this is a foaming hand soap. We have these at every single sink in our um, home. Uh, very cost effective to remake. I actually, uh, if I'm out of the refill, I have made it from this before. Um, and I have filled up the bottom just a little bit, about a cap full, fill it up with water about three fourths of the way up there. And it's great. You can add scents to it. So say you like a lemon scent, add lemon. Say you like peppermint, add peppermint. You know, you can add five or ten drops to it. And to help um, to help you when you're washing your hands. Why do we choose Thieves Hand Soap? So many of the antibacterial soaps on the market have so many toxins in them to where we become resistant to the antibacterial products and antibiotics, okay? So that's why we choose that. Thieves has an excellent bar of soap 
Um, this is so soft. I have made my laundry detergent in the past with this. It's soft. It smells great. Oh, it smells excellent. But I, you know, um, if you've ever made homemade laundry detergent and you have to, to grade that, you know, bar, takes forever. Yeah, I did this like less than five minutes talking on the phone with a friend and I thought, man, I was going to take a before and after picture. I forgot to even do it because it happened so fast, right? Yeah. And so, um, so then we've also got our um, waterless hand purifier. Um, I want you to know your ingredients that are on your hand purifiers. Whenever you have the, you know, the hand purifier, we always, you know, who, what mom doesn't have one of these in their purse, right? And so, but um, know your ingredients. Triclosan is one of the ingredients that you want to avoid. Um, it's very toxic, and especially when it's reached a certain degree of temperature. And a lot of times we keep these in our car, right? Our cars get hot. And so it reaches that certain temperature, you put it on your hands. Well, what do we do with our hands? What do our kids do? Right? Yeah, they put them in their mouth. So you want to do something that is toxic-free, okay? This is excellent. Um, and it's very refreshing. Um, I'll pass it around. Let y'all all get it if you've never tried it. Um, and then also the Thieves uh, Spray. And I'll get to that in a second. Let me go on to the on the go. So when we're on the go, we have got our hand sanitizer and we have got our spray. Okay? Now, our spray, we take into public restrooms. We take into uh, public eating areas. Wherever we go, we spray. Okay? Um, we have gone and we, in fact, I spray my kids. Sometimes I just have them to spray, you know, their hands and stuff. Just it depends on if we've gone to the park and we don't have anything to wash our hands with, we'll do that. Let me tell you a little story about my thieves spray in the park one day. I have a very curious child and, uh, and so he came to me and he said, mama, he said, there's a drink up there inside that slide. He said, can I get a drink of it? I'm thirsty. I said, no. I said, we better not do that. That's not our drink. And so let's not do that. And so then he comes down a little bit, slides down a few times, comes back. He says, Mama, he said, it's just water. I tasted it. Can I drink the rest of it? I said, do you drink it? And he goes, yeah. He's curious, right? And so I said, no. I said, come on, let's go to the car. Come here. Let's go get our mouth cleaned out. I don't, it's a public park. I don't know whose drink it was. I didn't know where it came from. And it was probably just melted ice, but he could straw in someone else's mouth, some stranger in my child's mouth. Uh-uh. I said, come on, let's go to the car. Set him down in the car. I said, open your mouth. Psh, psh. He hadn't done it ever since. <laughs> but he never got sick either, okay? So, and think about this too. Think about this. Whenever uh, you're in the parking lot alone by yourself, you know, walking to your car, get it out. You know, it can be ammunition. You never know, going to come up, you know. And then you'll say, I helped your immune system, okay. Not only did I help you not attack me, but I helped you get better. No. <laughs> and so, but it does. It's a great uh, boost for your immune system. There's sometimes that he's gone and shaking people's hand and, you know, and you, you, know, you don't know where they've been, what they've touched, anything like that. Even doorknobs. You know, and so we had a repairman come to our house once, and um, he got he had the stomach bug. It was obvious. He kept going to the bathroom, and I was thinking, dude, just get the job done and leave. And he had driven three hours, so he said, I've got to finish it today. So everywhere he went, I was following him with my spray <laughs> and my thieves' wipes. The thieves' wipes, they're very handy. And I was wiping doorknobs. He was touching knobs. He was, and we never got it. And, and this fella had major digestion issues, okay? And so and we were able to avoid that. Um, and so, but and it was by the grace of God and thieves, man, I'm telling you, he knocked it out. And so, um, thieves has a great line of oral care. We have great floss. This floss is great. Um, it, and even the floss, you'll smell it and think, man, that's great. But think about all the stuff that gets in between your teeth. Um, you know, you want to use something that's, that is very helpful um, with that. We've got uh, different types of toothpaste. Um, this is the Aroma Bright. This is our absolutely favorite toothpaste, okay? Now, my, I have a two-year-old, and he's still learning to spit, right? Um, there, you know, because the process of learning to chew or learning to spit or learning to swallow, right, whenever you're brushing your teeth. 
and he uses this, and oftentimes he doesn't spit, but it's safe. It's fluoride free, and it's going to be safe for him if he does swallow it. All right, um, it's excellent. Has a very minty flavor. A lot of people they um, they say, you know, oh, I, I don't like these ones that are fluoride free. They just don't have any flavor to them. This is excellent. Our family favorite. Okay. Um, and then also the Thieves Mouthwatch. Very, very refreshing. Very wonderful for halitosis. Whenever you are trying to get that clean and, and get you know rid of that problem, this is great. But it's also no alcohol, no artificial flavor, no dyes, anything like that. It's free of toxins. And so this is absolutely great. So if you accidentally swallowed this, it would be okay as well. Right? Okay. <laughs> Um, the other toothpaste that we have, there are other ones. There's the Dentrum Plus and the Dentrum Ultra. Um, and all of them have no um, uh, preservatives or synthetic perfumes, fluoride. Um, and there's different ones. We have a product guide full of all of the different products that I'm going to mention tonight. But do your research and think, you know, okay, I'm going to, I, I prefer this, so I'm going to use this because of this. So, um, there's different ones. There's also, um, like I said, my very family favorite is the Aroma Bright. Um, we absolutely love this. We're able to go get healthy, clean bill of health from our dentist whenever we go get our checkups from using this. Now, um, next is, I talked about the mouthwash and the uh, floss. Now, there's two strong f fibers Two layers of essential oils, these peppermint, to help between, you know, a lot of times that our breath stinks because the stuff that's in our teeth, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, something else I want to mention, but it's not on my slides, is the sleep gum. It is made from frankincense resin. A lot of people go, it doesn't really have a flavor. And I go, no, but you know what? Do you own a bottle of peppermint? Put a drop of peppermint in there with it, and you've got your peppermint. No, I like spearmint. Okay, then put a drop of spearmint. Do you like lemon? Put a drop of lemon. You can have your own flavored gum because you can flavor it however you choose. But chewing that sleek gum, you can feel it working through your teeth, pulling stuff out. It's amazing to feel. You're just from chewing it for a small amount of time. It's amazing to feel how fresh your mouth is. Um, the um, Thieves mouthwash is excellent. Um, and like I said, no artificial flavors. No dyes, nothing like that in there to um, cause toxins or harm to your body. The personal care products we have. Um, aluminum is in most of the deodorants. And so you want to buy aluminum-free deodorant. Young Living has a wide variety of different aluminum-free deodorants. Now, a lot of people say, uh, you know, oh, I don't use that. I just use an essential oil. You can put a roller cap on an essential oil and use that for your deodorant. And so, um, very handy to do that. And so, there's different things. We also have a huge, um, uh, wide variety, I should say, of all the different um, skincare products. This is the Art skincare products. Most of our um, skincare products have frankincense essential oil in them. Why? Because it supports a healthy skin. And this is one of them. I'll pass this so you all can use it and um, try it and smell it and see. But it is excellent. It's very light moisturizer. It doesn't feel heavy on your face. There are some other ones. Um, there's the Boswellia Wrinkle Cream. There is the um, Wolfberry Eye Cream. Um, and many different um, uh, facial washes and scrubs, masks to help you with your skincare needs. Uh, we also have as many, uh, we have shampoos and conditioners. There's different smells, you know. Uh, there's lavender, there's copaiba, there's mint, things like that. And so this is the um, copaiba vanilla moisturizing shampoo. And this is the lavender mint daily conditioner. These are our family favorites. Now, a lot of times people use it and they say, it just didn't bubble up a whole lot. I just don't, I don't know, where are my bubbles? Well, the bubbles are the chemicals. But do you see a difference in your hair? Yes, it's clean, squeaky clean, okay? Now, say for instance, uh, your child goes to school and there's all these hair impurities that are going around. 
So you look up in your reference guide for hair impurities and to see, you know, what, what you need. So you add your essential oils to your shampoo and you've got it. Now you can't do that with your chemical shampoo because you're going to have all kinds of different reactions. But you can do that with this and it's going to help your hair stay pure of impurities. But also there are certain um, essential oils out there that help with hair loss as well. And they help um, with um, to regain hair. And you can add those to your shampoo, and you can wash your hair with that. And so you have to do your research and see which ones. Now, also, there are a number of body washes. This is one of my favorites. It's called Morning Star Bath and Shower Gel. Absolutely love it. My husband said one morning, he said, can I use this at night? Is it going to make my morning start now? Or is it going to... And I said, no, oh, you can use it anytime. But one of the reasons I like it, it has a, a lemongrass in it. It has a real lemony smell. And lemon's one of my favorites. But then there's also, like the evening piece, um, there's a number of different body washes that you can get. Um, now, this is one of our favorites. This just says bath and shower gel base. And I get this often. And because... My husband prefers the manly smelling, you know, scents. So I get this. It has no scent at all. So if you have people that don't like a scent, here you go. It's just the gel base. But if you have people that want a certain scent, then you add this to it. So I add Shutron and Valor and Cedarwood. Those are his favorite oils. And I add that to about, you know, 15, 25 drops. Give it a good shake. He's good to go. Here's your body wash. Now, this bottle of body wash and those bottles of shampoos last us at least a month between two adults using it. And you can see how long my hair is. His hair is short. But at the same time, a lot of people say, gosh, that really lasts a long time. You don't need much. When you don't have much chemicals in it, it's going to go and do the job without dousing a whole pile of it. Okay? Same thing with the body wash. Body wash. A little dab will do you. Our uh, lotion, this is Genesis uh, lotion. We love the Genesis lotion. You can even add certain essential oils to this to help support your skin if you're going to be out in the sunlight. And so do your research and see which oil helps support healthy skin when you're out in the sun. And uh, you can do that. You can add this to the Genesis lotion. You can add to the lavender lotion, different ones like that. Um, very, very helpful, uh, very moisturizing, very moisturizing on your skin. A lot of people put their oil on, they put their lotion on afterwards, and it just helps to absorb it even more into our skin. Um, one of my favorite things about Young Living is the product line for their kids. We absolutely love um, our product line, and this is my um, youngest one. Um, we were doing a photo shoot um, for his, you know, month uh, photo shoot, and I said, hey, I said, this is great. Let me get my products out. So we got an advertisement picture here. Uh, we've got uh, shampoo, bath gel, and lotion. And then one of my very, very, very favorites is Tinder Tush. And um, it's absolutely wonderful, not just for the tush, but also for little bumps and bruises and different things like that. Um, that you can, um, it's very, if you want to shake it, um, it tends to kind of separate a little bit. But you can see, I'll pass it around, you can see the quality of it. Uh, whenever we have um, different skin irritations um, and we have used this, uh, it helps to support healthy skin and almost instantly the next day you can tell a huge difference in the support that it gives. Um, also, um, we have got a great line of animal products. Uh, who has furry friends and family members, right? And so, a lot of people say, oh, well, I can't use these oils because it will bother my, you know, my pets. Well, there's a whole line of essential oils for pets, but you can also use these oils, uh, regular essential oils on pets. But then there's a whole a different line of the oils, but there's also the animal scent shampoo for your animals. Um, there's a um, spray, a repel spray. But one of my very favorite is animal scent ointment. Now, a lot of people think this is just for animals, and it's not. We use this for everything. In fact, I've had this jar since 2012, and it's 2015. This is how long I've had it, and it is good. And we, it's thick, and um, whenever we need it, 
We didn't take much, we just used a little bit of it. And it helps support our body whenever we, uh, uh, our body needs um, repair of their skin. Natural ingredients, no mineral oils, no synthetic perfumes, no artificial colorings, no toxic ingredients. And it has essential oils in here infused. Tea tree is one of the main oils that is in this. And so what we like to do at our home is put this on our feet before we go to bed and put our oils on our feet. Then we put this on, then we put our socks on and we wake up with amazing feet. Man, they feel good. And so, especially in the winter time, you know, sleep with some wool socks on. Oh man, it's awesome. And so, it's not just for animals, okay? Now, all these um, essential oils that are listed for animals, they have a scent that you want to use it on your animal. You don't want to necessarily use it on you. It's safe to use on you, but you can tell whenever I got the kit and I was smelling it, I thought, yeah, I don't like this. And it's because my animal needed it, right? Um, animals of all sizes, um, from horses to birds, you can use essential oils on. What do you use for what? Reference guide. There are wonderful animal reference guide materials that you can get to use um, and to know what to use them on. And we have our wonderful lozenge and mints. Um, Young Living has a great lozenge. These are great, especially in the winter time when you're traveling um, on airplanes, different things like that. When you're in a closed area with people, just pop one in your mouth and just sit there and you're exposed to the thieves the whole time. These are great for winter wellness to help prevent getting all the different um, illnesses and ailments in the winter that most get. And so it's very helpful. And they last for a long time. You can sit there and suck on it for a really long time. So now on to the Thieves Cleaner. It's naturally derived uh, plant-based ingredients, multi-purpose, non-toxic, pleasant, spicy smell because it has that clove and cinnamon smell to it. And highly concentrated formula makes Thieves Household Cleaner cleaner, very versatile and cost effective. When a lot of people find out that this bottle is $100, they think, oh no, gosh, I can't afford that. Well, tell me how much you have to spend to wash your toilets and your mirrors and your floors and your countertops and your bathtubs and everything. What are all your cleaners combined? How much is that? You tell me how much that is and you tell me if it's not about the same price, okay? Or maybe even less. So, very cost effective. And the ratio is so, um, is so small here. I'm going to show you exactly how to make your cleaner, okay? This is a stainless steel spray bottle that I got at a general store, and it was about a dollar, okay? And so, I'm going to take a cap full of my cleaner. There we go. I'm going to pour it in here. And then I'm going to take my purified water because my tap water has different things in it that could be uh, toxic, right? And so I'm going to take my purified water and I'm going to fill it up. So I usually use distilled water, but since I was traveling today and coming up here, I didn't want to bring my big gallon. So I brought it in a bottle of water. And I fill it up to the top, and now I have my Thieves Cleaner. So, one capful. Did you see that? One capful for this. Now, how many times do you think I'm going to clean my bathroom with this? Multiple times, okay? I can send my kids to go do different things, too, okay? This Thieves Cleaner, um, <coughs> I, I, the first time I ever bought that large bottle, it lasted me 18 months. And I was actually using it, not as often as I use it now, but I was using it often. And so I would say between six months and a year is what you're going to get at use out of that large one. And so, in, uh, but the Thieves Essential Rewards Kit and the Thieves um, Starter Kit comes with the two smaller bottles. But one bottle is uh, 29 16-ounce bottles of home cleaner. So there you go. Now... I have enough of these empty bottles like this that I, this is from an old um, organic cleaner that I had and it fits on there. You can buy these um, different um, spray bottles. Uh, you can, you know, order them in bulk and stuff and grab some. 
fits on there just perfectly. So this is actually where I, how I got that. So this is, and I keep these underneath the bathroom sinks. I keep them under the kitchen sink. Um, the other day I caught my two-year-old walking through the house like this with it. And I didn't freak out because I was like, go put that up. And so he's going, ah. And I was like, just go put it up. You know, I didn't go, ah, my gosh, we're going to go put it up. You know, I was like, come here, let me see it. And I took it away from him, put it up. He smelled great, you know. And so, um, some things that I like to do, I sent you on with a list of some recipes and stuff, but some things that I like to do with it, I use it as a room deodorizer too. You can spray it, and it's your room deodorizer. You can spray it to mop your floors. Um, I found a mop that you can get that is similar to the mops that you have the replaceable pads and they spray out the thing. I found one that you put your liquid in it and you squirt it out and you mop it and it has reusable um, like pads. And um, right here in a supermarket in our town. And so anyway, I found uh, that and I used that, my thieves cleaner in there to mop my floors and stuff. And it was fabulous because I was actually trying to figure out how to get the lid off of the other kind and, and maneuver it and put all my stuff in there uh, whenever we started going toxic free. And so. Um, when I change the sheets in our bedrooms, I take this, yeah, it's a cleaner, but I take it and I spray my bed down with it. Um, if there are spots on the mattress that need cleaning up, you know, I've got young children, they've had accidents, and you spray it to get a sponge, spray it in. Why? Because what happens after, time after time after time when there are spots on the mattress? You're going to get impurities in that mattress and that cotton and then the mattress itself is going to be toxic. This will help rid that of toxins by doing that. So every time I change our sheets, I spray our, sheet, our mattress down. Um, my toilets, my showers, my floors, everything. Mirrors, windows, everything. My stove. Now, um, laundry, you can put a cap full in your wash if you run out of laundry detergent. We've got an awesome laundry detergent now, though. Um, dishwasher, I've washed with a cap full and uh, put a little baking soda, put a cap full in there for it to stick to it. Wash my dishes. Very cost effective when you're only using one cleaner that you get delivered to you as well. You don't have to drag all your kids out to the grocery store to go get your cleaners, right? And then fight them because they're sitting in the cart and they're going Hur, to all the toxic cleaners, right? And who doesn't walk down the aisle and you, like, you can smell when you're coming up to the cleaning aisle. Think about the toxins that you're coming in contact with, okay? We don't even go there. We don't go down that aisle. And so, all the different things, um, <laughs> light degreasing, medium degreasing, heavy degreasing. Um, when you get stains on your shirt, take a cap full, pour it on there, okay? Pour it on the clothes directly. It's not going to bleach you. It's not going to do It's gonna, not going to do anything, but work that up out of it. Um, on your stove, I have. there have been times that I've taken a cap full and i poured it on my stove directly because there was something that needed to, uh, sat there too long, needed to come back up. Um, but a cap full is about a tablespoon, and so it's very cost effective. When you have a bottle this size and you're only using a tablespoon every time you need it, it's going to last forever, okay? So don't, uh, whenever you see the cost, you know, a lot of people aren't really for sure. And if you want to take a screenshot of this next one, you can. Um, it's great that you can use it on fabrics, on walls, on floors. The other day I had um, an exploding sippy cup in the house and it was one of those sippy cups that hit the floor and just went everywhere. Walls, ceiling, ceiling fans, everything. And I was able to spray it all over the place. It didn't take my paint off my wall. Um, it was a, uh, you're able to use it on your mirrors and uh, glass uh, products and uh, windows and things like that. Uh, my husband um, came in the other day from working out in the shop and he had something on his skin that could, would not come off. He said, it's, I, I got into this, you know, I was working on something, I can't get it off. It's stuck in my arm, it's on my fingers, you know, I need help getting it off. And so... Well, I knew that lemon oil is what I usually use for sticky substances. So, Thieves Cleaner, Thieves has lemon in it. So I thought, well, you know what? 
try this. So we just poured it on his arm and on his fingers and it came off. I added a few drops of lemon oil with it and um, he said, man, that came out fast. And so I can pour it on his skin. Now, do I want to pour something toxic on his skin? No way, because why? He's going to absorb it. I could pour that on his skin and I felt safe to pour that. And so that is an excellent way that you can use it on your skin. And you can and think about this. When you're washing your tubs down in your showers, do you sit in your tub whenever you do? you stand with your bare feet in your shower? Well, if you're putting chemicals in there on your walls, on your, and it says, do not drink this, do not touch this, and you're walking with it on your feet and your body is absorbing it, it's going into your body. It's going into your system. Okay? The Thieves Laundry Soap. Woohoo! Came out with this in convention 2015. This is awesome. This one bottle washes 64 loads. I know! Isn't that amazing? Why? You only need the little line is in there. You only need a little bit in there. Now, if you have an HE washing machine and you are uptown, I don't. I have like a 35-year-old washing machine, you know, when it's on the spin cycle, then we all know we think it's an earthquake, right? And so anyway, um, when you have an HE, it washes, you even need less. So it washes about 120 loads with an HE. Yes, all right. Got one in the house. All right. So pass that around. It is free from SLS, dyes, petrochemicals, formaldehyde, phosphate, synthetic perfumes, and all types of different brighteners and all the stuff that's supposed to make your clothes better, but it's damaging for your body, right? Um, it's awesome. It contains natural <laughs> enzymes. One of my very, very favorite oils to drink is jade lemon, and it's in the laundry detergent, but I don't recommend drinking it, but it's one of my very favorite uplifting oils, and bergamot. Bergamot is also very uplifting. Absolutely love it. Now, a lot of people come up to me and they say, well, you've got laundry detergent, but what do you use for your dryer sheets? You know, I, I, I want to use something, you know, chemical-free for my dryer sheets. Well, in my washing machine, I have the little thing that you put the, the rinse agent down in the middle. And so I get a gallon of distilled vinegar, and I put 30 drops of whatever essential oil scent that I want, my... Um, dry, uh, my um, rinse agent to be lemongrass purification a lot of times is that and I put it I shake it up in that gallon and I actually you want to use a glass container a stainless steel container you don't want to leave it in the plastic because these essential oils are so pure that they could melt that plastic okay now a lot of people say well these bottles are plastic these are a safe plastic that's safe for young living essential oils and so, uh, BPA-free plastic and then plastic ones are safe for essential oils. And so, that's what I use for my rinse agent. Now, then people say, well, what about dryer sheets? Do you know how toxic dryer sheets are? And, and a lot of people want that scent. So, I have wool dryer balls, and I put drops of oil on that, throw them in there. You can get those online. You can get them at whole food stores. Um, also, you know the little bitty baby washcloths? Those are cheap. You can get like six of them for a dollar. You can get those, get them wet, put some drops of thieves on it, put it in a little, you know, glass container, glass mason jar, and throw one of those in. And that's your dryer sheet. It comes out, it dries, wet it again, stick it back in that thing, just reuse it. Cost effective, non-toxic, okay? And so, um, those are great options. And our Thieves Dish Soap. All right. We can wash our dishes free of SLS, dyes, SLES, formaldehyde, phosphates, and synthetic perfume. Now, whenever you wash the dishes, you'll be happy, right? Because you, um, you're you actually helping your immune system when you're washing the dishes. And so... Um, we absolutely love our Thieves dish soap. Now, I do have a member that makes her hand soap from her dish soap. Um, she puts a little bit at the bottom um, of the container and then adds water. Speak Life oils. And she puts a little bit down there. You can check out her website and see. Um, but she puts a little bit down in there, fills up with water. You can add your essential oils to it. And that's how she makes that, that Speak Life oils. And she's got great ideas and great tips as well.
All right, so there's our thieves dish soap. And think about when you're dish soap, you're eating stuff, you're eating your fork, and if your fork and your plate have toxins on them and your food's touching it, it's going in your body, you're ingesting it, right? So that's why you want it to be chemical free. Here is our new fruit and veggie soap and spray. I am so excited about these. I have always washed my fruits and vegetables with lemon oil or purification. When I get home from the grocery store, I fill up my sinks um, with cold water, and I would put drops of lemon or you know purification and stuff. Now that I'm using this, I can pour it in there, a little cap full, um, and I can put. And it's actually probably less than this cap full. It is one ounce for every gallon of water. And, um, and then I let the produce soak, and some things I dip, I dip my bananas a few times and let them sit out and air dry, and by the time I get all of my groceries unpacked, and I get all of them um, in the pantry, then I pull my vegetables out and I just let them in the air dry, and then I put it in the refrigerator just like that, or the apples I sit out on the countertop, and so if you want to eat healthier. Okay, if you've been to the nutrition class, you know, you know, eating fresh fruits and vegetables is a great way. But there's so much pesticides and toxins that are sprayed on our fruits and vegetables, we've got to get it off. Even if you eat organic, there's still, there's still dirt and grime on it. You still want to get it off, okay? So this is a great thing to do. And then whenever it's air dried and you put it up, you don't need plastic baggies and containers. Stick it in the bottom of your refrigerator. Your kids come home, I'm hungry, I want this or that. It's already washed. You don't have to go over, wash this, fresh fruits and vegetables, and then do this. And who has ever bought fresh fruits and vegetables? And then by the time it's time to eat them, they're molded because they've been in the plastic and they've had the moisture. And you've wasted your money, right? So it's a great thing to wash them as soon as you get out from the grocery store. Wash them and then put them up. Now this spray is great for on the go. Think about the times that you're out. And, you know, the, the stores that have fresh fruits and vegetables for your kids, you can spray it on that and wipe that, you know, apple off. And here you go, you know, take this. It's a great spray for on the go. Um, very handy to have um, in your bag, in your diaper bag, in your purse, things like that. Um, it's convenient size. It's ideal for quick cleaning of small quantities of produce, even at home. There have been times that um, I just sprayed my bananas down. I don't need to wash it off. Because it's not toxic. I've spread my bananas down though, and just in it. But when you use the fresh fruits and vegetables soak and the spray, you're going to notice a life, uh, little, a longer life of your fruit, fresh fruits and vegetables. Okay? You're going to notice they last longer uh, because you're getting all that stuff off and you're getting that moisture out of the bags and stuff for them. All right, so we have talked about all these different things. And we have talked about how we use the different diffusers, how we use the personal care products. Um, I also like to make a lot of my homemade items. And so I have, um, this is a mason jar. I have, um, there are recipes online that you can get. There's books that you can get from different things. And this is um, a like a, a make and take or a homemade um, chest rub is what we use it for. We rub this on our chest, you know. It has Young Living Essential Oils in it. And um, I took the lid off and I can already smell it. It's very helpful for the respiratory support. And so you can make your own things. You can make your own cleaner. You can make your own personal care products. Um, we have um, in our home, in our bathrooms, instead of having sprays, you know, air fresheners, this is our citrus uh, room freshener. And I have orange, grapefruit, mandarin, tangerine, lemon, and spearmint in this. And it's in a glass bottle because I have about uh, four ounces of water and about 15 drops of essential oil in it. There we go. And um, this is our air freshener. This is what we use. Um, I keep one in my car. Um, I love to keep um, one in my purse um, when we go out. And we're outside and have outdoor annoyances that come around us when you're outside. And, and I put my purification in it. And so that's what we use when we're outside. Um, purification is great to support your skin. I've also made up a few. This is called Monster Go Away Spray. And we keep this in our bedroom. 
and it keeps the monsters out from underneath your bed, but it also keeps them out from your closet, and it has different calming essential oils, ones that promote relaxation and promote calming children. So they think they're scaring the monsters off, and they think this is monster spray, but at the same time, they're spraying lavender uh, on their, under their bed and in their closet. Their room is smelling good, and then they go to sleep and rest all night, right? <laughs> and so be creative, different things like that. Um, there's all types of different, um, the tender tush was out of stock last year, and so I made my own little um, better bomb cream. That's what I labeled it. And so, but, um, and so, but it's, it's got um, different recipes that I have found um, online that uh, just do your research. You are created for a plan and a purpose, right? Yes. Well, you empower yourself by doing the research, reading the labels on all the different cleaners and all the different things, personal care products that you use. And when you do, you'll notice a difference in your health and wellness of your family and of your overall well-being. And so, there's different ways that you can um, become a member with Young Living. And this is one way that I want to share with you. This is the Thieves Starter Kit. So, you may say, I'm not as interested in essential oils, but I want to live in a chemical-free home, so I'm ready to get my Thieves. So what a great cost-effective way for $160, you're going to get two cleaners, two hand soaps, two hand purifiers, two sprays, a toothpaste, and a mouthwash, and a bottle of Thieves, okay? Excellent. Now, with the starter kit, you're going to get samples, and you're going to get a stress away. And these samples are little bottles that you can fill up, and you can share with others, and little packets that you can share with others, Okay. And so that's your Thieves Starter Kit. If you want to become a member with Young Living and live a chemical-free lifestyle, then that is what you want to choose. Um, now, also, I have given you a different form here, the Transfer Bind. You may say, well, I want to become a member, but I just can't do it all at once. And I do not recommend that. Now, we moved twice in 18 months, and it was easy because I was tired of packing stuff, so I just started chunking stuff. And so I just started throwing it away. Food, everything. I was like, oh, it's expired. We're not using it. I know. We're going chemical free at this next time anyway. So that's a great way to do it. So if you're moving, just, you know, do away with it. Now some people, they go, oh, I just can't bear to throw stuff away. I need to use it. Well, go donate it to somebody, you know. Um, there's different um, shelters and stuff that clean. Go donate it to them. You know, give them something. Um, but I don't recommend just going whole hard. Well, I'm just, you know, get rid of everything. Let's go spend thousands of dollars on living chemical free. Um, I don't recommend that. So the transfer buy chart shows you how you can replace everything in your home with Young Living products. You have got your, um, <laughs> your personal care products. You have got your um, cleaners. And I want you to write down all the different prices that they cost you, and then look at the cost compared to buying the Thieves Cleaner or buying the products and see how long they last as well. So you can replace all the stuff that you've got. Now, if you're a member of Young Living already, there's an awesome Thieves Essential Rewards kit that you can get. And what a way to start. You get the same items that are in that starter kit, except for the starter package. You get the same, the two cleaners, the two soaps, the two, for $115, okay? Excellent way to get started. If you're not on Essential Rewards, you need to get on Essential Rewards because for that 115 PV that you're going to spend, you're going to get percentage back, 10, 15, or 20, depending on how long you've been on Essential Rewards, back in an Essential Rewards savings account, and then, one glorious day, you get to cash in those PV points and get free products and just pay shipping. I got, you know, two, three hundred dollars worth of stuff last week, paid seven dollars and seventy-two cents to have it shipped to my house because I got, you know, that meant free stuff. It's awesome. And so, very cost effective to be on the Center Awards. It's also cost effective if you're going to start living a toxic-free lifestyle personal care products and everything like that, put a new thing 
on your order every single month. You can change your date. You can change what's in your cart. You can change when you want to um, have it processed. You can change how you want to pay for it every single month. Very cost effective to start replacing things once a month with your essential rewards um, plan. And so that concludes our class today. And I want to thank you all for coming. I want to thank you for watching today. I want you to contact the person that showed you this video or contact me at mollymoses1230 at gmail.com, M-O-L-L-I-E-M-O-S-E-S-1230 at gmail.com. Or if you're ready to become a Young Living member, go to youngliving.com. Use the member number 1027725 as your enroller and your sponsor. And then I will plug in with you and help you get the education that you need. Thank you all for attending. I hope you have a great night.